What is up guys? For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Nick Alfieri, aka Nalf. I'm an American who plays American football in Germany, but right now I'm home in the States for the off season. But I go back to Germany in March. Now you guys gave me a bunch of good questions on this last video for a QA. and I haven't done one in a long time, and so I wanted to do one today. So let's dive right into the questions. How did you come into contact with the unicorns and was it your plan to play football no matter what after college? Um, after college at Georgetown, I went to grad school, film school at USC. I was there for a semester. I was talking to the unicorns a little bit. I think I first was contacted by Jordan and Cody uh, asking me if I had any interest. I decided to go to film school, didn't like film school, talked to the unicorns again while I was at film school and decided to leave. It was not my plan to play football no matter what after college. I thought after college I would be done with football, but the first season that I went without playing, I really missed it and I wanted to get back into it. How has living in Germany changed your understanding of what politics can look like? Are you seeing issues differently compared to when you had only lived in the US? Absolutely. Actually, you know what? This question is good. I'm gonna do a full video, because this will take a couple minutes, um, on politics, I think. So I'm gonna save this question, but a good question. Do you prefer the more compact layout of German cities or the more expansive layout of American cities? Why? Hmm. I think that I like the German cities better. I'm not a huge fan of American cities. I mean, there's a couple cool ones. Like you have to see New York City. I like Portland a lot as far as cities go. But to me, a lot of the U.S. cities are pretty similar. They're just concrete buildings. They're not very walkable. Uh, they're dominated by cars. And so I think I like German cities and European cities more than American cities so far. My question, when will you finally make Bruno cut the man bun? Never. Bruno will never cut the man bun. Will you, Bruno? If money would not be a question, where would you live? <sighs> I don't want to live in just one place. I want to split my time between places. I haven't decided where yet, but I think that I would love to have a house or something in the Alps, in the Berchtesgaden area, kind of on the Germany, Austria border down there. Do you plan to have a fan meeting when you were back in Germany? I would love to do that. I don't know where we would do it, but I would love to meet a lot of you guys. That'd be really cool. So I'll try and figure that out. Which German food do you miss the most being back in the States? Chicken schnitzel and spätzle. I have that like four or five times a week while I'm in Germany and I miss it so much. That's something I'm really excited. Get back, eat some spätzle, eat some schnitzel. How would you describe the feeling of hearing your German fans cheer for you on a game or in general? It is such a cool, awesome feeling. Um, and Unicorns fans especially are so amazing. When we won the German Bowl and we got to go out on the balcony and hold the trophy up and all the Schwäbisch Hall fans were down there in the town center, uh, it was so, so cool. Such an amazing experience. I just got chills even just thinking about it. So it's awesome. Is it possible to make a living out of a football career in Germany? Uh, technically, yes. Um, but it depends on what your future plans are. I mean, you're not going to make a huge amount of money to where you're able to retire early or something like that, but I'm able to support myself playing football um, in Germany. How tall are you and how much do you weigh? I am six feet and 215 pounds, which I think is 183 centimeters and about 98 kilograms. How do you finance your traveling? Um, YouTube, football, trading stocks. That's how I've been able to do it so far. How long are you going to be in Germany this time? Full season, eight months. Uh, I get there in March and I'm supposed to go leave in October. But now that I have the Italian passport, I don't have to leave. What do you get at Chipotle? At Chipotle I get a either burrito or burrito bowl with brown rice, no beans, chicken, mild salsa, and a lot of cheese. Isn't it weird to let a random person fill your tank? No, to me it's weird to fill my own tank because I've grown up in Oregon and I like when somebody else fills my tank for me. Why is the Super Bowl on a Sunday? I don't know, it's stupid. It should be on a Saturday or the following Monday should be a national holiday. Nobody should have to go to work. Did you have offers from other European football teams? Why did you choose the Unicorns? Yeah, I did have offers from other teams in Germany and other countries, Italy, and uh, especially after this last season. Um, I love the Unicorns. I love Schwäbisch Hall. I love my teammates, love my coaches. I think at some point it would be cool for me to play in Italy. But right now, I am just full-fledged a Schwäbisch Hall Unicorn. What makes the Unicorns different from other teams in the GFL? I kind of cover this topic in uh, my documentary, so I'm going to save this one. Are you planning to move to Germany for good? Um, I don't want to live anywhere for good. 
Um, and when I do finally settle down, I think I want to split my time between Europe and the States. Uh, so that one's kind of hard. Where do you see yourself in five years? Whoa. In five years, I hopefully will be a successful filmmaker. Hopefully I'll have a film or two on Netflix or somewhere that a lot of people have seen. I hope that I continue to grow on YouTube. Um, if my body allows it, I think it'd be cool to still be playing football. How old will I be? Five years from now? I maybe start thinking about a family or go the Bruno route, grow a man bun and just hop around all over the world. We'll see. Where did you get that cut on your cheek from? Where is it? Which side is it on? I got this cut from my friend Matthew Fay. He's one of my best friends since we were really young. Um, we were running sprints on a football field, and I was really tired. I was laying down after on the field, and I asked him to throw me my car keys. And he threw me the keys. My eyes were closed while I was laying on the field, and the keys hit me in the face. Cut me open, I got stitches, but uh, we're still good friends, and I was actually the best man at his wedding right before I came out to Germany. And he visited me in Germany. So Matthew, I am not mad at you, thank you for the cool scar. What is your favorite team in the NFL? I like the Carolina Panthers and the San Francisco 49ers. My brother who plays football at Stanford, two of his good friends, one of them plays for the Panthers, one of them plays for the 49ers, uh, and so I root for those two teams. At what age did you make that Nicholas's room sign? I didn't make it, my grandpa made it, the one who is Italian. I think he made that for me when I was born. Which camera do you use for your footage? A lot of times I use my iPhone, but for this video and anything that looks better and more professional, I use a Canon 70D. Pretty good camera. I've dropped it a million times and it still works. Did you ever go to the Netherlands? No, I have not been to the Netherlands yet. Just the Amsterdam airport like five times, but I want to go to the Netherlands this year. Do you like German bread? Yeah, German bread is so good. Is it possible that Mobo comes back to the unicorns if he doesn't succeed over there? Well, maybe. What he's done is successful though to me. He's the first European football player not to play college football to be drafted in the NFL, so succeed, I think he did succeed. But if he doesn't make an NFL team this year, maybe he'll be on the unicorns. How many foreign languages can you speak? Um, I'm bis in Deutsch. Je parle français un peu. That's it. And I think we'll end on that one. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for the questions. Let me know if I should do another one of these. Sorry if I didn't get to your question. I can't make this video like 30 minutes long. It'd be kind of boring. But hopefully next time I'll get to yours if I missed it. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, and I will see you next time.